Today I'm going to be talking about the Reck and Rec and how we use it in our classroom. The word Reck and Rec is kind of a silly word, but actually when you break it down it makes a little bit more sense. The word Reck and Rec, the word Reckon means doing math or arithmetic. And so when it transfers into English it actually means to calculate, add up, total, or count. So what we use the Reck and Rec for is to count. It's a small abacus-like math tool, and it can also be called a counting frame. So as you can see here, this is a Reck and Reck, and what we do is it has two rows of stringed beads. It has a repeating pattern of five beads of one color and five beads of another color on each row. So we use Reck and Recs for a lot of different things in our classroom. We use it for counting, we use it for composing different numbers, and we use it for decomposing, and we also use it for addition and subtraction. So a Reck and Rec can help us visualize different quantities of numbers in different ways. So I'm going to show you. So in our classroom, a lot of times we'll be sitting on carpet and we ask students to build numbers. So let's pretend that I'm using the number four. So I say, okay students, let's build the number four. They could show me this number four in a lot of different ways using a Reck and Rec. They have the option to move four beads over on the top row and zero on the bottom, and that shows me four. Another student could put three beads on the bottom and one bead on three beads on the top and one bead on the bottom and then that also shows me four. Three and one makes four. A third student could show me two beads on the top and two beads on the bottom and that also makes four. So a Reck and Rec gives students the opportunity to show how they visualize the numbers and to be able to count it using the beads. So then also we can use Reck and Recs for subitizing. As we've talked about in a previous video, subitizing is when you can see the quantity of a number without actually having to count it. In kindergarten, we start with five. So when we use a Reck and Rec, the students should be able to first see that if we have the beads here with the pattern, this is five, and they shouldn't have to count. So if I were asking them to build the number seven, they should be able to do five, and then add two, which makes five and two shows me seven. So for more tips on how to use Reck and Recs or to help your child, please watch any of the other videos that we've made so far. Thank you.